Synthetic Biology, Solution to Non-Renewable Resources In the present-day scenario, we are mainly dependent on the non-renewable resources for our energy needs. A major non-renewable resource which fulfills our energy need is fossil fuels. But high prices of fossil fuels, environmental hazards and climate change issues, increasing concerns regarding the depletion of the fossil fuels in the near future, etc. have forced us to meet our energy needs and fuel needs from the renewable resources. We need to find a new way. Recent developments and researches in the synthetic biology, systems biology and functional genomics have provided us with the catalysts and biocatalysts which will aid us in the production of biofuels. This includes conversion of biomass, other waste, feedstock, etc. to biofuels using this biocatalyst through certain processes which are discussed in detail in this video. First of all what are non-renewable resources? A non-renewable resource or finite resource is a resource that does not renew itself at a sufficient rate for sustainable economic extraction in meaningful human time frames. An example is carbon-based, organically derived fuel such as earth minerals, metal ores, fossil fuels coal, petroleum, natural gas, etc. Over the years fossil fuels have dominated as prime option for our energy needs and in transportation. Use of fossil fuels is also increasing day to day due to increasing population and its needs. The human race will always try to improve their standard of living, which is highly dependent on these non-renewable resources in the present scenario. As from the statistics of National Geographic, 320 billion kilowatt hours energy is consumed every day. Further the use of fossil fuels leads to the emission of the greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrous oxides, etc. This greenhouse gases leads to the degradation of the environment and creates undesirable climate change issues. Also, the prices of the fossil fuels are fluctuating continuously. Also, there are concerns regarding the depletion of the fossil fuels in the near future. This problem has aroused our interests in addressing our need from the renewable resources. Current advancements in the biotechnology and synthetic biology have shown us some promising alternatives for the non-renewable energy resources. Recent developments in sequencing technologies have made us available new methods which can quickly identify and analyze the variations in a genome and this has formed the base in understanding the complex environments of microbes study their genetic makeup, etc. This development holds the promise to generate methods for biofuel productions. There is a separate field of biotechnology known as white biotechnology which focuses on the production of chemicals and fuels for renewable energy resources. White biotechnology utilizes living cells from yeast, molds, microscopic organisms and chemicals to synthesize items that are effectively degradable require less vitality and make less waste while their generation. Existing Alternatives to Non-Renewable Resources Currently, there are alternatives to the non-renewable resources and we are also utilizing them to some feasible extent. They are solar power, wind power, geothermal energy, oceanic energy and energy from antimatter. As these solutions are available but most of them are not efficient and very costly or still in the experimental stages. Sun is not always shining, the wind is not always blowing, water is not always flowing and antimatter is the costliest resource to make. So we need to find the other more efficient alternatives. Here synthetic biology comes into picture which provides more efficient eco-friendly solutions at affordable costs. Biofuels A biofuel, as its name, suggests it is a fuel which is conveyed using the contemporary natural methodology, for instance, agribusiness and anaerobic ingestion. It is not that type of fuel which is made by topographical systems, for instance, those incorporated into the plan of non-sustainable power sources, for instance, coal and oil, from antiquated normal matter. Biofuels can be gotten specifically from plants, or in a roundabout way from farming, business, local, as well as modern squanders. Sustainable biofuels, by and large, 
include contemporary carbon obsession, for example, those that happen in plants or microalgae through the procedure of photosynthesis. Other sustainable biofuels are made through the utilization or transformation of biomass, alluding to as of late living life forms, regularly alluding to plants or plant inferred materials. This biomass can be changed over to advantageous vitality containing substances in three diverse ways which are, warm transformation, synthetic transformation, and biochemical transformation. This biomass change can bring about few lint strong, fluid, or gas shape. This new biomass can likewise be utilized straightforwardly for biofuels. Types of Biofuels the substance structure of biofuels and petroleum derivatives vary similarly. The greater part of biofuels talked about in this copyist are of fluid shape as they are anything but difficult to transport. The underneath table thinks about biofuels and their petroleum derivatives partners. Ethanol is found in all gas blends. Because of the plenitude of sugar in Brazil. They change over sugar into ethanol and centralization of ethanol is 95% in gas utilized as a part of Brazil. Biodiesel This is the most widely recognized kind of biofuel usually utilized in the European nations. This kind of biofuel is primarily created utilizing a procedure called transesterification. This fuel is fundamentally the same as the mineral diesel and is synthetically known as unsaturated fat methyl. This oil is created in the wake of blending the biomass with methanol and sodium hydroxide. The substance response thereof delivers biodiesel. Biodiesel is normally utilized for the different diesel motors subsequent to stirring up with mineral diesel. Presently in numerous nations the producers of the diesel motor guarantee that the motor functions admirably even with the biodiesel. Biogas Biogas is chiefly delivered after the anaerobic processing of the natural materials. Biogas can likewise be created with the biodegradation of waste materials which are sustained into anaerobic digesters which yields biogas. The deposit or the bi-item can be effectively utilized as compost or manures for farming use. The biogas created is extremely rich in methane which can be effortlessly recouped using mechanical organic treatment frameworks. A less perfect type of biogas is the landfill gas which is delivered by the utilization of normally happening anaerobic digesters, however the fundamental risk is that these gases can be a serious danger if escapes into the climate. Bioalcohols. These are alcohols made by the use of mixes and microorganisms through the system of development of starches and sugar. Ethanol is the most generally perceived sort of bioalcohol, however, butanol and propanol are a part of the lesser known ones. Biobutanol is occasionally similarly suggested as a quick substitution of gas since it can be particularly used as a piece of the distinctive fuel engines. Butanol is made using the methodology of Abe maturing, and a segment of the investigations have also shown that butanol is a greater imperativeness capable fuel and can be particularly used as a piece of the distinctive gas engines. First Generation Biofuels Original biofuels are created specifically from crops. The biofuel is at last gotten from the starch, sugar, creature fats, and vegetable oil. Note that the structure of the biofuel itself does not change between generations. Instead of happening this the source from which the fuel is determined changes. Corn, wheat, and sugarcane are the most usually utilized original biofuel feedstock. Here are some first-generation technology for production of biofuels such as biodiesel, ethanol, bioalcohol, biogas, bioethers etc. The original biofuels allude to the powers that have been gotten from sources like starch, sugar, creature fats and vegetable oil. The oil is acquired utilizing the ordinary systems of generation. The most famous sorts of original biofuels are Using corn Corn is the fundamental wellspring of the world's fuel ethanol and the lion's share of that corn produced in the U.S. Beginning at 2012, 40% of the U.S. corn things was being used to convey corn ethanol, however not all of ethanol is used as biofuel. 
current necessities by the United States government require that approximately 40 billion gallons of sustainable biofuel be delivered in 2013. Under the inexhaustible fuel standard, up to 15 billion gallons of that will be grain-based ethanol. Production of biofuel using corn. Dry milling process. In this process, the whole corn portion or other dull grain is first converted into flour by grounding, which is then eluded in business as feast. Now it is prepared without isolating out the different segment parts of the grain. The feast is mixed with H2O to frame a squash. To change over the starch to dextrose which is a basic sugar, enzymes are added in the crush. For pH control and as as a supplement to yeast alkali are added. The squash is handled in a hundreds of Celsius temperature bearing cooker. To decrease microorganisms levels in front of aging. The crush is made to cool and exchange to fermenters and yeast is included. The change of sugar to ethanol and carbon dioxide, CO2, starts. The aging procedure for the most part takes around 40 to 50 hours. Amid this piece of the procedure, the crush is fomented and kept cool, to encourage the action of the yeast. After aging, the subsequent brew is exchanged to refining sections. Then, ethanol is isolated from the rest of the stitch. The ethanol is concentrated to 190 proof utilizing customary refining. The remaining afterward is dried out to roughly 200 proof in a subatomic strainer framework. The anhydrous ethanol is then mixed with around 5% denatrant, for example, normal fuel. It is done to render it undrinkable and along these lines no drinkable liquor exists. It is then prepared for shipment to gas terminals or retailers. The stage is sent through a rotator that isolates the coarse grain from the solubles. The solubles are then focused to around 30% solids by vanishing. Doing this, bringing about condensed distillers solubles, CDS, or syrup. The coarse grain and the syrup are then dried together to deliver dried distillers grains. It also have solubles, DDGS, a high caliber, nutritious domesticated animals bolster. The CO2 discharged amid maturation is caught and sold for use in carbonating soda pops and drinks and the fabricate of dry ice. Wet milling process. In this process, the grain is doused or soaks in H2O and weakened sulfurous corrosive for 24 to 48 hours. This soaking encourages the partition of the grain into its numerous segment parts. In the wake of soaking, the slurry of corn is prepared through a progression of processors to isolate the corn germ. Then, the corn oil is either separated nearby or given to crushers who remove the corn oil. The rest of the fiber, gluten and starch segments are additionally isolated. Doing this process involve using of diffusive, screen and hydroclonic separators. The soaking alcohol is moved in an evaporator. This concentrated steep H2O, is co-dried with the fiber part. Then it is given as corn gluten nourish to the domesticated animals industry. Substantial soak H2O is additionally sold without anyone else's input as a sustained fixing and is utilized as a part in ice ban, an ecologically well disposed contrasting option to salt for expelling ice from streets. The gluten part, protein, is separated and dried to deliver the corn gluten dinarco item. This item is very looked for after as an encourage fixing in poultry grill operations. The starch and any outstanding H2O from the crush can then be prepared in one of three routes which are as follows, aged into ethanol and then dried and given as dried or altered corn starch, or handled into corn syrup. The maturation procedure for ethanol is fundamentally the same as the above mentioned process. The advantages of corn are Framework for planting, gathering, and handling is now set up. Generally straightforward change of corn starch to ethanol. Potential to utilize whatever is left of the plant, stalk, cob, and so on, to create ethanol too. Corn can possibly supply about one fourth of U.S. gas utilization. There are no circuitous land utilized costs with corn. The disadvantages of corn are Moderately high prerequisite for pesticide and compost. 
In addition to the fact that this is costly, it prompts soil and H2O sullying. It is a sustenance staple and used in biofuel has expanded nourishment costs around the world, prompting hunger. The creation rate is low at a normal of only 350 gallons of fuel for each section of land. Vitality yield is around 1.2, which is marginally positive at 20% net yield. Production of biofuel using sugarcane The initial step is sugarcane reaping. A significant part of the collecting is finished with difficult work, especially in numerous tropical locales. Some gathering is done mechanically. The material is then immediately transported by truck to diminish misfortunes. The stick is then cut and processed with H2O. This creates a juice with 10 to 15% solids from which the sucrose is differentiated. The juice contains undesired natural aggravates. This juice could bring about what is called sugar reversal, hydrolysis of sugar into fructose and glucose. This prompts the illumination venture so as to counteract sugar reversal. In the elucidation step, the juice is warmed to 115 degrees Celsius and treated with lime and sulfuric corrosive, which hastens undesirable inorganics. The following stride for ethanol creation is the aging stride, in which juice and molasses are blended so that a 10 to 20% sucrose arrangement is acquired. The maturation is exothermic. Hence, cooling is expected to hold the response under aging conditions. Yeast is included alongside supplements, nitrogen and follow components, to keep yeast developing. Aging can occur in both clump and ceaseless reactors. The advantages of sugarcane include Foundation for planting, gathering, and preparing that is as of now set up. No land utilized changes give ranches sizes stay stable. The yield is higher than that of corn at a normal of 650 gallons for every section of land. Carbon dioxide outflows can be 90% lower than for customary gas when land utilized changes don't happen. The disadvantages of sugarcane include In spite of having a higher yield than corn, it is still generally low. Couple of areas are appropriate to cultivation. Sugarcane is a sustenance staple in nations of South and Central America. Production of biofuel using soybeans. First of all, dehulling of soybeans, dehulling, or decortication, is the way toward evacuating the body of a seed and can be material to something other than soybeans. It is done as maker wishes to diminish the last fiber content at last item. After removing hulls by doing dehulling, Oil extraction from the remaining output of dehulling of soybeans takes place. Most of the free unsaturated fats and gums actually introduced in soybeans are expelled by hydration and mechanical or physical partition which we fundamentally call as degumming. From that point forward, soybeans oil is experienced through transesterification. Most of the free unsaturated fats and gums actually exhibit in soybeans are expelled by hydration and mechanical or physical partition. What's more, we get biodiesel as yield and glycerin as by item. The advantages of soybeans include Grows in numerous countries Generally simple to keep up The disadvantages of soybeans include A yield of just around 70 gallons of biodiesel per section of land it is the most exceedingly bad yield of any harvest. Palm oil delivers very nearly tenfold the amount of biodiesel per section of land at 600 gallons. Note palm oil is viewed as a second generation feedstock. Soybean is a typical nourishment source. Its utilization as a biofuel specifically undermines the evolved way of life. It confronts various ailment and pest troubles. It is for the most part not a gainful biofuel feedstock. More vitality is typically required to cultivate soybeans than can be gotten from the fuel delivered from them. Production of biofuel using vegetable oil. The advantages of vegetable oil. It is anything but difficult to change over to biodiesel. It is broadly accessible. It can frequently be utilized specifically in diesel motors with little change. The disadvantages of vegetable oil. It is a necessary feedstock. 
whenever grungy, it can bring about motor harm through carbon testimony because of deficient burning. The supplanting of old development timberland with oil palms builds carbon outflows and harms biodiversity. Second Generation Biofuels Second generation biofuels are otherwise called progressed biofuels. What isolates them from original biofuels the way that feedstock utilized as a part of creating second generation biofuels? These feedstocks are for the most part not nourishment crops. The main time the nourishment harvests can go about as second generation biofuels is whether they have officially satisfied their sustenance reason. For example, Squander vegetable oil is a second generation biofuels on the grounds that it has as of now been utilized and is no longer fit for human utilization. Virgin vegetable oil would be an original biofuel. Second generation biofuels are gotten from various feedstock. Different innovation is regularly used to concentrate vitality from them. This does not imply that second generation biofuels can be singed straightforwardly as the biomass. Truth be told, a few second-generation biofuels, as switchgrass, are developed particularly to go about as immediate biomass. Common second-generation feedstock Production of biofuel using grasses Various grasses like switchgrass, miscanthus, Indian grass, and others have on the other hand been put in the spotlight. The specific grass picked by and large relies on upon the area as some are more appropriate to specific atmospheres. In the United States, switchgrass is favored. In Southeast Asia, miscanthus is the decision. The advantages of grasses are They are enduring thus vitality for planting need just be contributed once. They are quickly developing and can more often than not be collected a couple times each year. They have generally low manure needs. They develop on peripheral land. They function admirably as immediate biomass. They have a high net vitality yield of around 540%. The disadvantages of grasses are They are not appropriate for delivering biodiesel. They require broad handling to made into ethanol. It might take quite a long while for switchgrass to achieve gather thickness. The seeds are powerless contenders with weeds. They develop on minor land. And their early interest in culture is generous. They require sodden soil. They don't do well in parched atmospheres. H2O requests are the greatest disadvantage to grasses. The variable that shields them from winding up noticeably more mainstream as second generation biofuels. In spite of this weakness, grasses do locate various utilizations especially in the United States. Jitrifa and other seed crops Seed yields are valuable in the creation of biodiesel. In the early part of the 21st century, a plant known as Jitrifa turned out to be exceedingly famous among biodiesel advocates. The plant was commended for its yield per seed. This plant could return values as high as 40%. At the point when contrasted with the 15% oil observed in soybean, Jitrifa seemed to be a marvel at it. Adding to its charm was the misguided judgment that it could be developed on minor land. For reasons unknown, oil generation drops generously when Jitrifa is developed on negligible land. Enthusiasm for Jitrifa has wound down significantly as of late. Other Comparable seed crops have met with an indistinguishable destiny from Jitrifa. Cases incorporate camelina, oil palm, and rapeseed. In all cases, the underlying advantages of the products were immediately acknowledged. They are to be counterbalanced by the need to utilize cropland to accomplish appropriate yields. Waste Vegetable Oil It have been utilized as a fuel for over a century. Truth be told. A portion of the most punctual diesel motors ran solely on vegetable oil. It is viewed as a second-generation biofuels. In light of the fact that its utility as a sustenance has been exhausted. Truth be told, reusing it for fuel can enhance its general natural effect. It is most likely one of the best wellsprings of biodiesel. The length of mixing is all that is required. It can take care of a great part of the demand for biodiesel. Gathering it can be an issue. 
however, as it is conveyed all through the world in eateries and homes. Uses of Biofuels Biodiesel As fuel in transportation vehicles like truck, tractors and so forth. Delivering hydrogen for fuel cell vehicles. Tidying up oil spills. Producing electricity. Tidying up tools and grease. Adding lubricity to diesel fuel. Evacuating paint and adhesives. Blacktop cleanup agent. Hand cleaner. Edit adjuvant. Screen printing ink remover. Auto wax remover. Corrosion preventative. Metal working lubricant. Ethanol. Ethanol is utilized as fuel for autos. Ethanol can be utilized as dissolvable in tincture of iodine and fragrances. In cleaning metals, mirrors, wood furniture. It is utilized as manures for plants. Utilized for cleaning jewelry. For generating power. Biogas, go bar gas. For cooking and warming. As an illuminant for residential and road lighting utilizing mental lamp. For running tubal and water pumps and motors. Third generation biofuels. Biofuels that are derived from algae are known as third generation biofuels. Microalgae are considered to be most efficient resource for biofuel production. Algae grows in aquatic environment. It uses carbon dioxide and light for creating biomass. There are two types of algae. Macroalgae they are large and these algae which have multi-cells are grown in ponds. Largest multicellular algae is known as seawood. Microalgae they are unicellular and tiny. It normally grows inside water body. Fuels that can be obtained from microalgae are Gasoline, biodiesel, jet fuel, ethanol, methane, vegetable oil. Therefore use of microalgae for production of biodiesel is getting popularity among entrepreneurs, public and researchers. Production of algae. It can be produced in two ways. 1. Open ponds. 2. Enclosed photobioreactors. For mass cultivation of microalgae open ponds are simplest and oldest ways. In them depth of shallow pond is about 1 foot. In them algae gets environment for nurturing similar to their natural environment. Configuration of pond is like raceway. It has paddle wheel that is used for mixing and circulation of nutrients and algal cell. They are made from concrete or by digging earth and lining with plastic which help to prevent liquid from being soaked up by ground. For minimizing space in channel baffles guides flow everywhere around bends. System works in continuous mode for instance in front side of paddle wheel inorganic salts and nitrogen phosphorus are added whereas behind the wheel harvesting of algal broth is taken place while it has circulated from loop. As per the requirements of nutrients wastewater sources like municipal wastewater or a lagoon effluent of dairy, swine can be used. Water with high salinity or seawater is used for microalgae of marine type. Disadvantages of open ponds To overcome evaporation and contamination problems that are identified in open pond, enclosed photobioreactors have came into role. They are placed outside to get direct natural light and they are made from materials that are transparent. The vessels that are used for cultivation have very high area to volume ratio. Tubular design is most popular among photobioreactors. They have large number of tubes that are transparent and are aligned in direction of sun rays. So for maximum penetration of sunlight their diameter is kept less than 10 cm. Circulation of medium broth is taken place from pump to tube, then there it is exposed in light for a process of photosynthesis and then sent back to the reservoir. Using airlift or mechanical pump high turbulent flow is provided within reactor which prevent algal biomass from settling. After collecting solar tubes a small portion of algae is harvested. Thus it maintain continuous algae culture. There are also helical tubular photobioreactors whose tubes are spirally coiled. But it increase production cost as it require artificial illumination. Oxygen is generated by photosynthesis process. 
in open system oxygen simply goes into atmosphere so that is not problem but enclosed reactor can might contaminate algae. So to remove excess oxygen algal broth should be reacted with air this area is known as degassing zone. Carbon dioxide is also used by algae that can increase pH and cause carbon starvation. In order to harvest microalgae on large scale it should be fed in the system. Heat exchangers that are located in degassing column or in tubes are used to maintain temperature of photobioreactor. Advantages of Enclosed Photobioreactors Disadvantages of Enclosed Photobioreactors Challenges in Production In culture system it is very much difficult to maintain species that are desired. Algal oil has low yield. There is very much high cost in harvesting biomass of algae. Advantages of Biofuel As we all know that fossil fuels have limited supply and soon they are going to exhaust and because of which their prices are going to climb high. Therefore we have to turn toward biofuels. Its main advantages are as below. Availability of Biofuels Biofuels are renewable source of energy as they are derived from animal and plant matter and they can be harvested anytime because some biofuel like those that are derived from algae are season independent. If we are concerned about availability then biofuels have very big advantage. In fact due to availability in many countries it is adopted as alternative fuel. Impact on environment. Surface and spills contamination. Biofuels are much more safe as compared to fossil fuels. If by mistake we spill large quantity of biofuel in certain area then the chances that it will contaminate soil, water or kill any living organisms are very low. Atmospheric Contamination and Sulfur As fossil fuels have very much high content of sulfur, so when they are burned they result into acid rain. Whereas there are many ways by which biofuels can be produced so that it does not contain any sulfur and as a result there will not be any acid rain. Global Warming and Emission of Greenhouse Gas Emission of greenhouse gases can be reduced if biofuels are produced in correct manner. As plants take carbon dioxide during photosynthesis so it decrease global warming. As biofuels are grown from plants so they nullify CO2 emission as it intake as much CO2 during its production as much it produces while burning. Disadvantages of Biofuels Along with advantages there are also many disadvantages of biofuels. Cost Prices of biofuels with the type of feedstock used in its production, its volume of production, initiatives by government, food prices production process etc. Main problem in biofuels is its fluctuation of feedstock as crops used like jitrifa or other all are dependent on temperature, availability of nutrient, sunlight, parasites etc. Cost of research and development is also very high in biofuel. Food insecurity Land that can be used for growing crop is used for growing biofuel crop. So problem of food security arises from it as there is already shortage of food in all over the world. Use of Fertilizer For production of biofuels that meet our energy requirements it is very much essential to use fertilizer. But fertilizers have many disadvantages as it can affect our environment. In biofuel 3 to 4 times more fertilizers are needed as compared to food crops. Some disadvantages of it are emission of greenhouse gases, water pollution etc. Increasing rates of natural fermentation for polymers. Traditional plastics materials for example PVC polyvinyl chloride, PP polypropylene and PET polyethylene terephthalate, are produced using petrochemical substances and carbon elements which make them limited resources. As a solution first generation polyhydroxyalkanoates, PHA are naturally produced by fermentation of sugar solutions using specific bacteria. In spite of the fact that PHAs are created normally in numerous microscopic organisms, the cost valuation and scope of compositions required for fruitful commercialization manage that PHA pathways must be amassed in a powerful modern life form which is not actually delivering the final product. 
second generation of PHA is mostly based on consequent support with recombined gene innovations. Production of natural rubber Isoprene is an essential substance utilized as a part of an assortment of uses, including the generation of synthetic rubber. Isoprene is normally delivered by about every single living thing, counting people, plants and microscopic organisms. Metabolite diphosphate is changed over into isoprene by the protein isoprene enzyme. Yet, the specific gene sequence of isoprene enzyme has just been recognized in plants. So we can include natural rubber to our bucket of limited resources also. Presently, most of the synthetic rubber is gotten completely from petroleum resources. Isoprene is an essential substance utilized as a part of an assortment of uses, including the generation of synthetic rubber. Isoprene is normally delivered by about every single living thing, counting people, plants and microscopic organisms. Metabolite diphosphate is changed over into isoprene by the protein isoprene enzyme. Yet, the specific gene sequence of isoprene enzyme has just been recognized in plants. So we can include natural rubber to our bucket of limited resources also. Presently, most of the synthetic rubber is gotten completely from petroleum resources. Production of Renewable Bioacrylic Acrylic is a vital petrochemical utilized as a part of an extensive variety of mechanical and consumer items. Acrylic fixings make paints more tough and scent-free, glues more stronger and longer enduring, diapers more spongy and airtight, and cleansers better ready to clean garments. Worldwide market of acrylic is mostly depending upon petroleum. Researchers are developing sustainable bio-based acrylic to coordinate petroleum-based acrylic execution and cost yet with a 75% diminished in greenhouse gas discharges and oil reliance while offering more steady costs. A microorganism that meets these criteria for renewable bioacrylic is not present in the nature. So researchers is attempting to upgrade a characteristic organism to accomplish these objectives. Effects of Industry Pollutant Currently we are facing problems with disposal of harmful industrial pollutants, wastewater, agricultural waste, etc. We can't dispose them anywhere, they cause pollution. But what if we can use these materials and use them to produce energy? In this way we solution for their disposal and we also get renewable energy as a byproduct. It's a win-win. So MFC uses this above mentioned materials and various other biodegradable subtracts as its fuel in some biocatalysts and produce bioelectricity. Microbial Fuel Cell When considering a fuel cell most important thing is to get the efficient transfer of electrons so as to get electricity. What MFC do is increase the interaction and transfer of electrons from microbes to electrodes and thus is efficient. Currently there are three methods for this. Directly via cell surface cytochromes, for example Schuonella SPP, via pili acting as nano -ires, for example Jobacter SPP, via the production of soluble electron mediator compounds, for example Pseudomonas phenetsine production. In microbial fuel cell on the surface of the electrode, a special biofilm is produced and its growth is directly related to the density of power produced. In microbial fuel cell carbon dioxide, electron and proton are produced at anode due to oxidation of biomass. This electron thus go to other side at cathode via external circuit thus producing current. And at cathode reduction reaction reaction of oxygen takes place. Apart for the bioelectricity production, MFC can also be adjusted to produce biohydrogen and the used subtracts become degradable and harmless so it can also be used for wastewater treatment. It can be used in biosensor as its own power source, thus making biosensor remote. But the power generated by MFC is not enough for mass production of electricity. Still some research is required in field to improve the efficiency of the MFC. Some synthetic biology based companies Alginol, Amiris, Codexis, Genencore, Joule Unlimited, LS9, Chivo, Mascoma, Cteros, Sapphire Energy, Solizyme, Synthetic Genomics. Dangers caused by synthetic biology. 
risk to the environment. Regardless of whether a synthetically produced organism is discharged accidentally from a lab or deliberately into nature, the risk to our biological system is the same. Since the far-reaching utilization of genetically built crops, we have seen that these plants can share qualities crosswise over species, evolve and transform after some time, and radically influence whole biological ecosystem. As a speculative case, recently designed algae could be developed in a large number of sections of land for production of biofuels. This new type of algae may spread to ponds, streams and rivers, where it may prosper and uproot different species. At times, this could bring about algal sprouts that choke out SH and discharge dangerous chemicals into the earth. So it would be an awful choice to proceed with this sort of use. Genetic Contamination While different sorts of contamination, for example, breakdown of chemicals after some time and don't breed, organic manifestations are intended to self-duplicate and once discharged into the earth they would be difficult to stop and could wipe out whole species present in the environment. This sort genetic contamination, can demolish since it can't be tidied up. When it has gotten away, it can never be expelled from nature. National Security Concerns The organisms and techniques developed during the practice of synthetic biology can be a real danger to security as it can be easily used as deadly biological weapon by creating viruses. Most of the countries are looking forward to utilize the synthetic biology as a weapon. One potential military utilization of this innovation is to make microbes that eat all food and nourishment in an enemy's region. Conclusion As we have seen throughout this article, speaking in favor, synthetic biology has given some promising solutions to the current earth problems and also alternatives for non-renewable resources. Speaking against, there is too much risk to natural ecosystem is involved in genetic mutation and engineering. Thus risks are very high and promised output is little. Turning to synthetic biology for alternative for non-renewable is still a debatable topic and views varies from person to person. But with more research in this field, it has a potential to provide promising solutions.